Hey there Prometheus fans, this is Wesatron. Today we're going to be taking a look at NECA's Toys R Us exclusive Prometheus 2 pack with the Trilobite and Engineer Battle Damage version. Um, there's really no way to not be spoilerish <laughs> with this review. Um, I, I really don't uh, think if you're watching this that you haven't seen the movie yet, but you can get a quick look here at the back. Um, that's pretty much the whole thing right there. There's a big fight between these two guys. Um, up here there's a little bit about the, the movie, you can get that just right, if you want to check that out. And then uh, down here is just a little bit of info about each one, seven ball jointed bendable tentacles, uh, they span 18 inches when fully assembled, and then uh, this just talks about uh, how much articulation the uh, engineers got, so very simple packaging, it's what we're used to seeing from uh, Toys R Us, uh, or I'm sorry, from NECA. And uh, just a real quick look right here, this is uh, all the credits. So uh, this set cost me uh, $29.99 at my local Toys R Us, so uh, I'm done looking at it. Let's get them out and see what it's like. And here we have my best recreation of the rape scene from She Cried No, um, which is essentially what this pack is. You, you just bought a $30 rape scene. Um, <laughs> I don't really know how else to describe it. This is like horrifying in every way. Um, but great sculpting work on the part of NECA. Um, you can see this trilobite is absolutely enormous. Oh god, that's its proboscis or inseminator or whatever you want to call it. It's basically a wiener. Um, it's This is like every horrifying nightmare you've ever had about like fatherhood or something. Like big vagina monster coming after you. Everything in, in this movie that was evil looked like a vagina. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much what this is. Uh, with some added... Um, hentai there so that's pretty fun um <laughs> but yeah this thing is enormous um if you can see th if you know how big this figure is um in general the uh the engineer is bigger than most NECA figures and you can see next to it it's just a huge rape starfish um so yeah uh the sculpting on it however is really 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 nice I'm gonna move it a little closer towards the light. Um, you see it's got all this really really wonderful detail. Um, great uh, paint work here, this like almost intestine like uh, tentacles here, like the shorter tentacles. And then uh, this kind of mimics the inside of the uh, eggs for the, uh, the alien eggs or whatever eggs you want to call them. Xenomorph eggs or uh, just weapon eggs. We don't know that much about the story still but the inside here is painted it's got kind of a uh, almost like fleshy type look to it on the inside of the tentacles there. All the tentacles are 100% bendy um, and also on ball joints. So they all get you know a very nice range of motion. But since they are this kind of rubbery um, type of material to allow for the uh, uh, wires inside, they are easy to be removed, which I say and now I'm not going to be able to do. There we go. So they, they will pop off from time to time, but they do pop on very easily. So... Pretty cool. And uh, just so you guys know, the um, I'm still going to call it the Inseminator. Um, does have a bendy wire of its own. And it does have a little hole on the tip. <laughs> so that um, if you want to, you can inseminate your um, engineer. So that's why his mouth is open. If you notice, his eyes are not uh, anger, rage eyes their um, sad face, oh my god, I'm being impregnated by a vagina starfish eyes. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get this guy out now. Sorry, I forgot to show you guys the back first. Uh, very nice detail back here. Uh, glossy paint job. Um, really, really, I mean, like, they've, they've got this almost, like, fossilized uh, um, spinal cord look in there, like a rib cage almost. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be a butt or eyes, because I think this is supposed to be the front. Um, so maybe that, those are the eyes. I'm not sure, but uh, very, very nice looking. Um, some nice uh, kind of uh, dimpling on everything. Everything looks really outstanding by NECA. So, sorry, I just I forgot to show you guys that part. So now we'll get him out of here. And now we can take a better look at the engineer himself. Um, I'm going to pull out my other NECA engineer, just so you guys can see uh, how different these guys really are. Aside from the paint job, which is obvious, this is much darker. Um, they went with a much cleaner white on this version. 
uh, this guy also has uh, a ton of new parts, which we haven't seen before, which is pretty cool, because I assumed most of it was just going to be reused and kind of just painted battle damage, but no. We actually have new hands. Both hands have been replaced. Uh, new heads. So uh, both characters. This is a much more serene face. And of course this is rape face. Uh, nice burning damage in there. Uh, the shoulder has all been uh, damaged up. Kind of uh, this like burn pattern here. And also the uh, chest piece. Uh, as far as I see that's everything that's actually damaged. But I uh, just wanted you guys to be able to see that. Uh, looks like they might have still used the same back piece, but just a, a new kind of a front chest. So that's pretty cool. And yes, his hand just fell off because that happens a lot with this figure. I don't know why. I have to fix that. Anyway. So, the engineer. I'll get a close up on some of these. You see, he has this really, really nice burn pattern on his face. They actually went inside and painted uh, the teeth and the tongue and everything on the inside of the mouth. Make it as realistic as possible. It's got a nice kind of gloss in there to make it look wet. Very cool. The burns look all fantastic and kind of have a sort of a um, gradient effect from the burn into the flesh so that it doesn't look like it's just slapped on there. Very cool. The burn continues down the arm, as I said. Very, very, very nice. Um... We didn't really do a review on this figure before, so I can just show you some of the detail on this. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, they did a gradient on the arms here, too, and I do think it's a little bit better than the original gradient, but it's still not perfect. Uh, you can see here, um, probably could have washed that out a bit more, but still very, very good. Um, amazing detail, head to toe on this figure. I mean, the back, incredible, all this ribbing and, and uh, kind of piping and things like that. All very Giger-esque or Geiger-esque, however you want to say it. Um, very, very nicely done. And then, of course, the feet. I'm always a big fan of how they do the feet over at NECA. Very cool. Very, very nice. And peg holes, if you need them. Um, so, articulation-wise, uh, he's you know much more like a standard action figure instead of the trilobite. He's got a ball-jointed head. And he is a bit limited, I think, because of the girth of his neck. Um, so he's got some, you know, tilt action and stuff, but his um, down and back is nowhere near as good as NECA usually is, but still pretty good. Uh, swivel hinge shoulders. They go out about that far. I can get this shoulder out a little bit further. Not a whole lot further, but just a tad. Um, and they go all the way around. Uh, and there's no hinge to be seen up here, so this figure is another one that um, has no pegs or hinges for you to be able to see. So that's pretty cool. Uh, aside from the inside of the elbows and the backs of the knees, which is kind of expected. Um, we've got uh, hinge and swivel elbows. So about 90 degrees there. Ball jointed wrists. Usual NECA. Uh, great ball jointed midsection. Go forward pretty far, back pretty far, crunch to the sides, very cool, and of course the spin. Um, and then we've got uh, angled swivel hinge, swivel hips. So kind of like the Rocky figures, you have to kind of turn them and then twist the thigh to the right position if you want to pose it. So, uh, still not my favorite type of hips, but um, I understand why a lot of companies choose them for stability and things like that. Um, you know, I guess that makes sense, but still, I like the easier-to-use uh, L-shaped uh, swivel hinges. We've got uh, swivel hinge knees, so about 90 degrees, maybe not perfectly 90, but close, and this and the swivel there, and then double ball ankles, so that we've got a very nice range of motion, forward and back, and then also in and out. So great side-to-side -side action there. I really enjoy that. So, like I said, I got this uh, figure set for uh, $29.99. Uh, considering the Prometheus figures are enormous, let's just get Rocky in here real quick, who is a you know pretty standard 7-inch figure. Maybe a little bit on the short side. Let's actually get Clubber in here, because he pities the fool anyway. Were you guys impressed that I got through the entire uh, Clubber Lang review without ever saying pity the fool? Yeah, I was impressed myself. So you can see, this is an enormous figure. Huge, huge, compared to a standard 7-inch figure. And when you get the Trilobite in there too, who is even larger, I mean, this is a set, wow, this thing is big. This is a set that could have easily been a $40 set, and somehow NECA and TRU worked it out to be $29.99. I think it's a great deal. Uh, you get a brand new figure. You get another version of a, of a character you may already have. 
um, and uh, the sculpting and paint is amazing and accurate on both. I, I highly recommend this this set. Um, it's only available at Toys R Us. Uh, they have been on the website, um, but I think currently are out of stock. But uh, keep an eye on the website. Things tend to pop in and out of there from time to time. So just keep an eye out. Um, and don't forget to look for the Predator 2-pack that's uh, coming out there as well. Um, but yeah, definitely I would give this set uh, probably a 9 out of 10. Uh, there's not much more I could ask out of it. Uh, very cool scene in the movie. Horrifying scene <laughs> to be sure, but... Uh, a cool one so um it was nice to see it uh, represented and to get some cool new geiger creatures so um yeah that's pretty much it guys i appreciate you watching thanks to all the new subscribers and comments if you have any questions or comments just throw them in the box below and i will do my best to get to them and answer any questions that you have thanks a lot guys